Okay, in this video, we're going to see the log laws in action. Okay, and it's going to be a case of being able to simplify an expression using those log laws. So here are four terms log 3 of 5 plus log 3 of 4, take away 3, log 3 of 2 plus 1. And let's say I want to simplify this. Now, first thing you may be noticing is that they are off, all have the same base log 3, log base 3, which allows me, piece by piece, to bring them together with the same bases. If I just look at log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 4, that's the same as log base 3 of 5 times 4, so 20. And I'm going to deal with that one in a moment. So log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 4 is log base 3 of 20. So I can accumulate those two together. Now the 3 log 3, 2, I can use the third law to bring the 3 up to the power. So I can write this term as minus log 3 of 2 to the power of 3. So, 8. So, if you don't want to, you want to see that step first, the first step would be bring the 3 up to the power of the 2, and 2 cubed is 8. And then I've got this plus 1 on the end. Now, the plus 1, I'm just going to leave there for the moment. Okay? First of all, I'm going to look at this. Now that I've got log base 3 of 20, take away log base 3 of 8. And if I just consider those two terms, ignore the one for the moment, then that is the same as log base 3 of 20 over 8. Okay? Because that subtraction means a division when I've got logs of the same base. And I've still got that plus 1 on the end. Right. Now... Let's simplify that fraction, 20 over 8, both divisible by 4, so that's 5 over 2. Okay, so log base 3 of 5 halves. Plus this 1. Now the 1, if you remember from the same video, Laws of Logarithms, the 1 can be replaced with log base 3 of 3. Log base 3 of 3 is 1. Okay, so as long as the base number and that number are the same, I'm all right. Okay, so once I've replaced the 1 with the log base 3 of 3, now I'm back to this same position where I could multiply the 5 by the 4. So I can multiply the 5 halves by the 3. So that's log base 3 of 15 halves. 5 halves times 3. And this is as simplified as I can possibly go. Okay? And that's my final answer. So it's just taking each bit piece by piece and then using the laws of logarithms to simplify it down. So all of these four terms became just the one at the end.